Hi. Besides this traffic that I'm parked in right now, life is really freaking good. You know, they say you can't talk on the cell phone or text or anything in California, but they don't say nothing about videotaping. So, yeah, things are great. I really should have shot some video where I was this weekend because it was Garth Brooks's beach house. <laughs> Never thought I'd end up at a place like that, but uh, started seeing Carrie Turner. And she's known them for a long time and helped them buy out the house and somehow like that. So she like takes care of it and decorates and all that sort of stuff and gets to use it whenever she wants. And the only thing better than having a boat or a beach house is having a friend that has one, in my opinion. And so, yeah, we went and hung out there and um, that was fantastic. And we got into town Thursday night and had a lazy Friday and then went to... Uh, Aisha from Friends' birthday party or something like that, and she lives across the street, so it's just like a neighborhood party, and <laughs> I mean, it's this whole new world that I've been so oblivious to that I'm sure a lot of people are recognizable, but I have no idea who any of them are, um, but it's just a neat, a neat similarity between the professional poker industry and the acting industry. Um, I mean, like emotions in the work and swings and money and uh, competition and, you know, being in one day and out the other day and uh, a ton of stuff like that. And so it's really fascinating. And there's a lot of, you know, celebrities and whatnot that play poker because they like the game. And, you know, a lot of personality traits that co-mingle between the groups of us, I guess. And that's where I met Carrie. I was out at a charity poker tournament in Scottsdale last year. And, kind of kept in touch and went and visited her after my audition out here last week or last month and really hit things off and yeah, she's great so I'm excited about that a lot and yeah on my way back to Vegas now in traffic uh, I'm gonna stop have dinner with my mama and I'm going to uh, visit an old childhood friend of mine that I grew up with and haven't seen since sometime in college and haven't really hung out with since like my junior year of high school, he was a year ahead of me. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I picked up a poker horse about a month ago. He won me a tournament last night for 5K. Yeah. And i uh, pretty excited about that too because I did a review session with him last week, um, you know, over Skype. And we looked at a tournament that he played and we recorded our conversation and produced it as a video for Poker VT. And, I think that it'll make a really neat series, you know, like, because he's very much in the spot of, you know, most of that clientele of people that are watching videos and whatnot, and so, you know, it speaks directly to that group, and we can show, like, the changes that he's making, uh, you know, over his, his study process, and I think it's going to be really good, so five days later, we get to make the uh, here's when things went right and what we fixed video, and so yeah, life's great. Hope you're all good. I've got a charity poker tournament that I am hosting on October 2nd in uh, Las Vegas at the Hard Rock. Gavin Smith and I are doing the event for Darius Goes West and Duchenne's Muscular Dystrophy Research. It's going to be a heck of a party. Uh, Lisa Wheeler and Greasy Wheels Productions are putting the event on. And Matt Savage is going to be TDing it. And I'm stoked. So, hope you all are great.